Hey sports fan, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com and I bring you a special NFL debate video. A lot of things I've been hearing across this week about who's better, Richard Sherman or Darrell Reeves. I'm going to settle this debate right now. We're going to get into this debate right now. So basically, I've been hearing a lot about how Sherman pops off and says, hmm, 20 interceptions, this, this, that, and the third. Yeah, I get it. I hear you. I've heard a lot of people talk about, oh, Reeves is this, that, and the third, about him doing this. I hear you. I'm going to break down and get into the nitty gritty of why these guys are great and who's better. When I look at the Seattle Seahawks, I look at Richard Sherman being one of those guys that you can put out there and not really have to worry about too much. But occasionally he does get burned. And I've seen just in the last two years, he's been burned by a lot of people like a Julio Jones, like a Roddy White. He's been burned by a lot of good wide receivers, you know, so when it comes down to it, um, I think Richard Sherman is a great young cornerback. I feel like he has all the prospects from size, from makeup speed, to a lot of things that make a corner that confident. He can forget play, uh, he can forget the plays that just happened and bounce back like nothing happened and go out and make more plays. I have nothing negative to say about Richard Sherman. Even when he did his rant, I didn't have a problem with that. You know, but when it comes down to it, you're talking about Darrell Revis. You're talking about one of the all-time best corners in all-time history. You're looking at some of the top names he's shut down from when Chad Ochocinco was in the league, he shut him down, to Megatron, to A.J. Green, to Larry Fitzgerald. You're looking at all these teams that the Jets have played, and you don't see their opposition going off on offense because of Revis Island. They gave him his own island. They put him out there with no help, no safety help, no nothing. If you watch NFL defenses, you'll notice that a lot of times Revis, when he was with the Jets, not with the Buccaneers, when he was with the Jets, Rex Ryan's defense has left him alone. He didn't have a lot of safety help. He didn't have a lot of corner help. He single-handedly took one side of the field and said, you know what, guys, I'm going to take this one guy. Y'all can take the other 10 guys. I'm going to make sure this guy does not do damage to us today. And we're rolling with that. Richard Sherman doesn't have his own island yet. So there's people that get tickets to Reeves Island, but nobody ever gets off that island. You know, you can you can fly a plane there. Yeah, you can land, but you will not be leaving that island in the form of fashion that you want. Revis will send you home without 100 yards. So when it comes down to it, Revis has built up a reputation. He's done these things. When you have people like LaShawn McCoy of the Philadelphia Eagles saying, I'll take Revis over Richard Sherman, that speaks volumes. When you have people like Adrian Peterson saying, you know what, Richard Sherman's a good young player, but let's not forget who the crafty veteran is in Darrell Revis. You know, and Rex Ryan even said it, Revis is one of a kind. Yes, you can have Richard Sherman who has all the confidence, has all the mouth, plays like an all-pro player. But you have to remember, Revis is coming off a knee injury, and he played pretty well. You know, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense fell apart late because of injuries, because of some other things, but when you come down to it and you look at the film, Revis was all over the place doing what he had to do. He may have got burnt, but you have to know he wasn't 100% yet. So when it comes down to it, this is the year that you see, okay, who's better, Revis or Sherman, because it comes down to it. Richard Sherman, two years in the NFL, all pro, does all these great things, all these accolades. Now, Revis, it's your turn to respond. You've had all these years where you've done great, Last year, we can accept that it was an off year, but you still played up to your potential. So now when it comes down to it, the big debate, who's the winner? I picked Darrell Revis because simply Revis has done it longer. Revis has been more consistent. I, I know that Richard Sherman has only had two years in the NFL. He's done what he's done. But when it comes down to it, I go off the body of work, the full body of work. Not one year, not this year, not last year, but a full body of work. And he doesn't have enough accolades and enough uh plays on the field like Revis does to even account for that. Yes, he's the second best corner in the NFL. I give you that. But when it comes down to it, Revis is the full package. He can shut you down. He can play up there and run and uh, stop the run, play defense up that way. He can do everything a defensive coach wants him to be. Let's not forget uh, Cam Chancellor back there and Earl Thomas like their chopped liver. Every time I see uh, Sherman get beat, you even see Chancellor or Thomas back there tracking somebody down. I didn't see that a lot for Revis. I didn't see a lot of people behind him in Tampa or in uh, New York when he was a Jet to do those things. So when it comes down to it, I got to go with Revis. I got to go with the, uh, the old vet. So that's my debate. 
Let me know what you guys feel. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I want to hear from you, my fans. I want to debate with you each and every day. So let it, let it be known in your comments. Uh, check me out at JustMyPicks.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. You can also check me out on YouTube. YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos on your sports group. Thank you very much. Hit me up next week. Thank you very much.